All right, everyone, man. I didn't get a chance to get out and fish up on that bridge this morning or this weekend. Yesterday, I was so busy with the family. This morning, we got some storm. But I did get a chance to get out, go to the old neighborhood and fish for some gills for about an hour. And I actually uh, didn't get a chance to show you my setup. Man, it rained on me in like 45 minutes. I only maybe had, maybe had an hour of fishing, but I did catch some fish. Um, sun came out for a minute. Then it just started pouring down. Uh, I didn't want to hang around. I didn't know if it was going to rain for an hour or for 10 minutes or whatever. I just decided to come on to the house. But I did decide on this video when I talked to you guys about drop offs and how to fish them. I did make my angle on my video to explain to you guys what I mean about the drop off when I'm in a boat, what I look for for land, or when I'm on the bank and I'm fishing a drop off that's right in front of me. But the video I made. The angle actually going to show you guys that drop off I'm talking about. And when I say uh, how you can see the shallow close to the bank and then it get dark, it just drops down. It's going to show you that because I'm going to be fishing sideways toward the bank. I'm not going to be fishing in front of the bank. I'm going to be casting down that drop off. And I'm going to be bringing that worm or whatever I'm using. I'm going to be bringing it back to me. And you guys are going to see how them fish is just bam, hit it. They hang right there. Year round, even when it's cold, some of the drop off is going to be deeper at a lake. It might drop from 8 foot to 15 or 20 foot. That's a drop off. On a pond, it's going to go from 2 to 3 foot down to 6 foot, a little bit, a little bit deeper. That's the drop off. That's the, that's the main highway for all fish year round. They just, they just go around the water like that. And you'll catch uh, uh, bluegills, catfish, bass, all of them hang right there. So you got to enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know if there's anything else that I can share or you can share with me. But this is going to be a real good video for you guys. Peace. All right, you guys. <clears throat> I do have ice this time because it's getting hot. Uh, man, I couldn't make it up under the bridge this morning with the crappies, man. I, uh... I got family stacked up in the house, man, and it was just hard for me to even get, get up and get out today. So the guy told me he caught his rear there right over here. Oh, that one? Yeah, I ain't got no grass. And see those spots over there? I know I can catch bluegills right there, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to scout other areas on this pond. It's a good sized pond. Yeah, I got a bite just then. So I did get a nibble. Now do I know what it was? No. But I got a nibble, I felt it. Yep, I felt it in too. There we go. Now this is probably a baby one, yeah. But it's a baby, uh, it's a baby red here. So he could be telling me the truth, yeah. So you see it here? It is a, uh, this is a, uh, he swallowed the hook. So, if you can see here, this is a female red ear. Baby, got the red dot. The fins stick up, pretty little fish. Pretty, pretty little fish. So, I'm gonna get this out, try to, I'm gonna try to keep her alive. Might be a little bluegill. Yeah, I bet that was a little bluegill. Huh? There ain't no little bluegill. It's a nice bluegill. It's a nice little bluegill. It's a little bluegill here. Nice one. Going home with me. Swallow the hook. So he's going home with me, so doesn't really matter. So yeah, that was probably a red ear I missed. It was pulling like a bass, and I remember everything got a blue gear, so it's probably a little bed out there uh, full of those full of these uh 
these big bluegills here. Well, they should be right out in this area here, man. I got something nice. I got something nice here. Oh, he got off. I think I bet that was a red ear. I bet that was a red ear. Mm mm mm. I bet that was. You see them bubbles? So something tapped it in, but it didn't take it. When I was moving it, it didn't take it. It taking it. Nah, oh, I missed it. Nah, it's still on there. Just a baby. <laughs> Probably a baby red ear. Nah, it's a baby bluegill. Now this right here is a bigger bluegill. It might be a red ear. Yep. I about to say I know it was. This is a big red ear. This is a nice red ear right here. And it pulled too. I felt the pull. Well, oh, they try to get you. Well, I just... These are kind I'm looking for, actually. Sure, I take these all day long. So, as you can see, a little bit bigger red ear. Probably another little baby. Blue get another little. No, ain't no baby. That's a good one. He going home. He going home. About a look. Four inch, five inch bluegill. See, I clean these the old fashioned way. Too far. Too far away there. Let's try right there. I'm trying to stay in this shade here. Hot. So I'm getting a bite. There we go. Little baby. It's a little bit on here. Another another little red ear. Another little baby red ear. That's gonna it ain't a baby red ear, but it's going home with me. No, that's not going home. That's not going <laughs> Trying to... There we go. To the blue gear here. Probably a red ear. Nice little blue gear. See, this is what I'm trying to take home to eat. Yeah, nice bluegill. These are the ones I, I like to take home and eat. Yep. Yep. Oh, you know what they like? Bacon. 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 You only need one piece for the whole day. Cause they're so tough. <laughs> That's a good bluegill right there. That's a good. Uh huh. Tough, yeah. So that one I get to go home with me. For real? Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah, oh he was fancy with it. I got a uh I got all that I got a kayak, a two-man boat, all that stuff. I like the bank fish though. 
like exercise for me. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like exercise. So that was a that was a good fish there. Yeah, I heard about bro broken broken bow. Uh huh. Maybe corn. Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah, they stand out there in the water and be throwing out there. Yeah. Yep. Catch, catch fish all day long. That was a nice bluegill there. Very nice bluegill. So now I'm uh, throwing it out, letting it hang out there. Once it drop and settle, there you go, it stood up. I'm just bringing it back to me real easy until I see the cart move. Yeah. Once I see the cart, yeah, I'm getting bite now. Here we go. So you see how I'm doing it? This is a good uh, bluegill or either a red ear. I think it's a red ear. Or a catfish, maybe. It's a catfish. Catfish? Yeah. Since that other one broke the line, he going home with me. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, since the other one did me wrong, he gets to go home to Channel Cat. Pretty one too. Uh-huh. Pretty little channel cat. Uh-huh. It feel good out here in the, in the shade. As long as I'm in the shade, I'm good. Okay. Right. That's a good cool gentleman talking to me. Catfish, I heard, I heard trying to act, act up. I thought I had a, I thought I had caught that big one pound uh, bluegill, but not today, not yet. The search continues. The search continues for the one pound and up bluegills, red ear. I'm just throwing out there, letting it sit, slow reeling it back to me here and there. And if I see it move, I stop and, and the fish will do the rest. No, not at all. Nah. Tow away up by no, by uh, Plano. Plano Frisco. Yeah. Yeah. You did? You live out here? 
Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I seen it, yeah, uh-huh. You know Brad that live out here? Jason and Brad? Do you know anybody live out here? You probably don't? Okay, yeah. Little old baby. Eh. Another little, another bait. You can use for bait. Put that on a big old hook. Boy. Throw it out there. Woo! Now I said you throw that right there, put, a, put it on a put it on a big hook and some weight and throw it out in the middle and let it sit out there. Big old catfish or bass come and eat it. I just want a big one. Like that one you caught. They love the little, little bitty bluegill like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey man, y'all better. The little fish probably said, "Don't eat anything no more. It's two big aliens. <laughs> they they huge." <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what they think when they see us. Cause Earth, if you look at it, Earth is our is our home, right? So we walk the land. So the water is they Earth. They don't see anything else but what's in that what's in that pond. So. You got this big old thing grabbing. Well, you first of all, you got a device that hook you in your mouth and pull you out. Then you got this big old hundred feet tall looking thing that grab your mouth and take and take pictures, take pictures with you. <laughs> so that video camera, you just hit the play button and you got a fish. Nah, I let it play all the way. I let it, like it's playing right now. Oh. And then when I go home, I edit everything that I want to keep. Like I keep that part. The part where you were telling me about that reel, I put that on there so when people follow me, because a lot of people don't like those, those, I don't like them. But when they follow, but when, yeah, when they follow me, they'll say, okay, so that gentleman was saying something about a, a chip. Yeah. 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 Let me see. Oh, man, smooth, man. Whoa. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry, I don't even feel it. And that's a big old, and that's a big uh and that's a big lure. Yeah. I don't even feel it. Yeah, it just it's here. You know, I'm I cast with my right, but I reel it with my left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. You know, I had yeah. To, yeah, so, yeah. But if you if you turn this thing to uh -huh. number uh one, that's free spool. You could cast them here all the way across the street. I'm serious. Right. I believe you. No, I'm serious. Yeah, I believe you. Come on, cause I, that one I got is like that, but it just don't have the chip. It get hung every time, and I just said I ain't, I ain't yeah, fishing with it. You don't, you don't even need. Otherwise, when you set it, <laughs> as long as it falls down nice and easy, then you're right there at the right one. You're at the right spot, yeah. There we go. To the blue gear here, probably red here. Nice little bluegill. See, this is what I'm trying to take home to eat. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Ooh. Nice bluegill. These are the ones I, I like to take home and eat. Yep. So you threw the other one back, boom? Yep. Oh, you know what they like? Bacon. Bacon? Bacon. You only need one piece for the whole day. Because they're so tough. <laughs> that's a good bluegill right there. That's a good. Uh huh. Tough, yeah. Okay. I might go and try it out then. The little bit of one, yeah. I know. Use this for use this for, for bass and catfish. Yeah, little bluegill. I don't know how many pounds. I didn't have a scale. Oh yeah, that's a now. That's a big one. That's probably right. 10, 50, yeah, 10, 15 pounds that's right there. Providence Village. Yeah, Is back there. The that big. Yep, that's what a lot of people do. 
Yeah. Oh, nice. Right. You got some redfish? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. They strong, too. Wow. Right. Yeah. Down and strap you in with a big reel like this. Uh-huh. You, you gotta be ready. It about to be a battle. But some reels got a football. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I watch them on I watch them on TV. Some of them Ooh. some of them will reel their own self up. <laughs> uh-huh. Alright, where the big ones at? Yeah. It just a lot of people into it just because it's the it's the it, it, yeah. That's why I got I got a kayak, but I don't never use it. I use my two man boat, my trolling motor. I don't want to. Like yeah, I don't want to work and fish. You know. What I mean? <laughs> All right, I'm probably gonna go down by that dock because I ain't catching no big ones no more. I'm trying to find the mamas. Yeah. I want them big ones. The monsters. Is that Ernest? Ernest? Yep. Yeah. What's your name? Gary. Gary, nice meeting you, Gary. I see you out here. I, I don't come much, but I don't come much, but maybe like once or twice a month. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, your name I met Ernest. 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 Yep, Ernest, Gary. I, I met Jason, he lived here. Jason, Brad. Brad, he, he had the lawn service. And then I met uh, a guy named Michael, him and his son. So, two people. Nice little bluegill. That's a big one. Yeah. Big bluegill. Big hand side bluegill. Hand side, make the pan. Hand size, pan size, man size, baby. There you go. You see it? Hand size, pan size, man size. There we go. So this right here is probably a nice bluegill. That hit. So this is a nice bluegill. That hit my um my curly tail. You guys can see. It's a 